Hello everyone. Welcome to our course Azure Kubernetes Services or AKS Deep Dive, which covers in depth a deep dive for AKS and Kubernetes. This video is part of this course and will cover lesson one in module two, which is introduction and module overview. This video is part of module two, understanding and working with Docker. And this is where the video is located in the current module. So let's start. Introduction and module overview. In this lesson, we will get an overview about this module. The main idea of this lesson is to have a complete overview of the module. What are the lessons and the demos in this module? What is the detail of each lesson and demos? What you expect to learn and see in each lesson and demos? It works as a place where you can understand where to find the information in which lesson. Before we start, let me give you a quick introduction about myself. My name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a developer technologies MVP and principal DevOps consultant. I have been doing software development for more than 17 years now. Worked on several projects for different enterprise customers across different regions and countries. For more info about me, you can review lesson one in module one. So this module has nine lessons. The first one is introduction and module overview, which is the current lesson I'm explaining now. As we expect, this lesson is all about give you an information about what your expectation that you are going to see and learn in this module. The second lesson is getting a start with Docker. This lesson will cover a complete overview of Docker, starting from the beginning, like, what is the history of Docker? When the first version released? What is the editions of Docker like community edition and enterprise? What is the difference between them? It will also cover what is the difference between image and container? What is the main idea of how to instantiate or how to create a container or launch a container from an image? It will also cover a very important concept in Docker, like what is the container registry? What is the container repository? What is the difference between repository and registry? And also what is the Docker manifest file? And also how the Docker is working as a client server architecture. So what is the difference between Docker client and Docker server and how they are communicating using a RESTful APIs and many other very important concepts about Docker. Then we will go for lesson three, which is working with Docker containers. In this lesson, we will go deeply about Docker to understand more about the workflow. For example, what is the workflow for image and containers? Like what is the several process for pulling an image, creating or instantiating an, a container from an image, how to pull an image, how to push an image, how to create a new image from a new container? What is the container and the image in more details and also we will get to know about several commands for docker and explain each part of the command and mapping this explanation to a workflow for each command so you can get familiar with these commands this lesson has three demos the first demo is working with docker container on Linux. This demo will focus on introducing Docker commands on Linux. So we will using on Ubuntu machine and this will start from the beginning. So it will cover how to install Docker, how to uninstall Docker, how to run several commands like, like listing all the local images on your machine, how to pull a new image, how to create container, how to stop start container, attach or deattach from a container and several commands. The second demo, it will be the same, but for Windows. So how to install and uninstall and several configuration specific for Windows. I'm not going to repeat the same commands in the previous demo, which is working with Docker on container Linux, because it will be the same. This is why in demo one, working with Docker on Linux, it will cover all the commands, but in Windows, it will just cover some of the commands because we don't need to repeat them. So make sure that you see post of them if you would like only to work with Windows. In the third demo, I will cover some advanced commands in Docker. For example, we will see how to create a sample ASP.NET Core web application and host that in a 
container and run a web app and accessing this web app from a browser. We will also see and learn how to stop and start the web server on the container and examine that. We will also get deep details about some of the container like for example inspect images, export, import and many several advanced commands in Docker. In lesson 4, understanding Docker file and image layers. In the previous lesson, we get a basic overview about Docker file and what is the layers. But in this lesson, we will focus on what is the Docker file in more details and getting more depth about the image layers and how the Docker file is work and how to build new image using Docker file and build a command. Then the first demo in this lesson will be working with Docker file so we can see how we can execute the Docker file command and build our image. And this will cover many features of the Docker file and how we can build an image using Docker file and build the command. Then the second demo, which will be executing Docker container and the image workflow. We will explain in this lesson how the Docker workflow is working. And in this demo, we will focus about to map this workflow into an interactive commands. Then lesson five, working with Docker volumes. In this lesson, we will focus about how Docker can interact with volumes. Then we will get a demo about working with volumes with Docker. Then lesson six, understanding networking in Docker. This lesson will focus on the networking in Docker, followed by a demo on how to work with networking inside a Docker container. Then lesson seven, which is Docker Compose. We will understanding what is the Docker Compose, how to work with Docker Compose and why we need it, followed by a demo that explaining working with Docker Compose. Then lesson eight, understanding multi-stage build. So we will focus about understanding the reason behind using multi-stage build. And again, followed by a demo about how to work with multi-stage build. And then lesson nine, how to build and run unit testing inside Docker container. And again, followed by a demo, how to run a unit testing inside a Docker container. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you have any question or inquiry, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.